Hey, I'm Trey. Have you ever wondered why some seemingly normal people wake up one day, snap, and then decide to kill everybody in a five block radius? Me too. I enjoy reading true stories like these and upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Well, if you're ready, let's get started. Paulo de Silva was born in the country of Brazil in 1971. No information was provided on Paulo's youth or family dynamic. Paulo was a fisherman who spent nine years in prison for an attempted murder charge. Paulo was released in November 1989. Paulo had a new lease on life due to his newfound freedom. His plans were to live in whatever way he chose. He was tired of following the laws that didn't work for him. With no inhibitions, he could do whatever he wants. During the evening hours in December of 1989, Felipe Santos and Barbara De Silva were sitting in their vehicle in an isolated wooded location. The two were in a forest type area that was secluded and was frequented by couples who would make out regularly. An unknown person came along and removed both of them out of the car at gunpoint and made them stand together. The unknown person then shot Felipe Santos in the head, immediately killing him. He then focused his attention on Barbara. He ordered her back in the vehicle and raped her. The following day, both were found shot dead and next to the vehicle. The authorities initially thought it was a botched robbery. In early 1999, the villain killed Anna Maria Soros and Marcio Olento in the same manner at the same location. The police were baffled on why anyone would attack and kill lovers who had no money or values. There was no rational reason for it, so the police couldn't formulate a motive. There were still no witnesses or leads for the police to follow. During the same month of March, the killer shot Patrick Almeida and Brenda Gavin after he raped her. These guys must not get the news in Brazil on places not to go. Patrick died immediately, but Brenda survived the attack. Brenda informed the police that she was raped, but pretended that she had died to deceive the unidentified murderer into leaving her alone. Sometime later in the month of March, in the same location, the unknown man killed Silva Abias and raped and killed Adriana Samoras. Paulo Silva, an ex-convict, happened to be in the area and then contacted the police. He waited for them to respond. Paulo, who claimed to have been a witness to the murders, provided information to the police. The police were extremely appreciative for his leads because to that date they had none. An investigation was started based on the information that Paulo provided about the homicide, but it seemed to have led in a different direction, but was misleading. Who in the hell hangs out in the woods just to witness a crime and wait for the police to arrive? The police arrested 13 people in regards to this case, including Paulo Silva. The police asked him what was the purpose behind all the killings and rapes, since there was nothing taken from the victims. Paulo stated that he was only interested in couples to fulfill his fantasy. He would kill the men immediately in front of their women or friends. This would then scare the females into submission and he used that fear to his advantage. At that point, they would do anything he instructed them to do sexually or otherwise. After sexually assaulting the women, he would dispose of them by killing them. This was by execution with a bullet to the head. His reasoning behind the murder spree was to outdo another well-known serial killer by the name of Francisco Perez. Francisco was a Brazilian serial killer who was allegedly responsible for the deaths of 11 women and 9 rapes. The media named Francisco the Park Rapist because he would stalk all of his victims in the local park. Francisco was captured by the police and given over a 200 year jail sentence. Paula was fond of Francisco's murder record and had ambitions to exceed it. Paula was charged with 7 murders tried and found guilty and was given a sentence of 184 years in prison. If you like stories like these, I upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and notification button. Thank you and God bless.